whether we ought to tell uh, our million listeners who we are. All right. So I can be John Allsop and you can be... I'll be John Patterson. Fair enough. That's all right. So what you have been doing is the Beach Hut thing. Beach Hut Theatre Company. So tell me about Beach Hut Theatre Company. Beach Hut Theatre Company. We've been going in Scarborough Mm -hmm. since 2007. Mm -hmm. Uh, And we put shows on in Scarborough. And what are you working on right now? Right now, we're working on a play by Alison Wood called Love When It's Brass, which is a comedy about a wedding that goes awry. And uh, and that's all you've that's all you've said about it. Yeah. And I know you're trying to keep things quiet, huh. um, uh, or keep the surprises within it. Mm-hmm. But I feel like there needs to be something more, something more, more tempting, more tempting, right? To, uh, to well, to, you know, why, as with why as should anyone come and see this? Because it this is. is as with any, you know, wedding that's not fictional, mm-hmm. uh, things, the whole point is that emotions are running high. The potential for disasters and things to go wrong uh, are enormous. It's uh, a perfect. It's, yeah. It's a perfect setup. And also, people look very nice at a wedding. They oh, tend yeah. to. Yeah. I mean, that's a big part of what we're doing on this one. We're having. Um, because one of the one of the things about Beach Hut is we've got no funding, um, so we c- try you know try and do it on a shoestring. But obviously at a wedding, one of the things people like to see is beautiful dresses with Swarovski crystals and mm-hmm. you know guys in nice morning suits. Mm-hmm. So you know at the risk of doing a little plug here for some. Oh, you've been you've been given stuff by local companies. We've been given stuff by local companies. Go on then, quickly name them. Quickly name them. Well, we've got uh, the Wedding Room. Oh, yeah. Which has given us... Bar Street. Bar Street, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Which has given us... Well, there's a loan that hasn't given us. We have to give them back. Um, But has loaned us a beautiful wedding dress and a maid of honour's dress. Try not to spill red wine down it and so on. That's right, yeah. Um, and Wedding Bells, uh, which is on Dean Road, they've they've um, supplied the the outfits for the the groom and mm-hmm. the father of the mm-hmm. father of the bride. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm bored and now. Tell me the yeah, the, other, right. the other ones. Louise really Flores, very right. quickly. Okay. Louise okay. Flores have done the buttonholes, which are actually a really important part of the whole thing. Right. But yeah. it's a way that the way that a wedding looks is important because we need the detail for the wedding to be authentic for then the humour to come out when things do go wrong. Because okay. you need, you know, it needs to be true to life. Okay. Mm-hmm. And it's it's an original thing that's obviously written from scratch. Mm-hmm. And you um, are the music man. I do the music, yeah. So it's an original score as well. It's obviously. original score, but we're doing it we're doing it twice. We're doing it as part of Coast, Coastival, mm-hmm. uh, which is the weekend of the 19th and 20th of February. Mm-hmm. Um, and for that one, uh, we're doing it at three locations. The Stephen Joseph Theatre in the McCarthy is the first bit, which is the wedding reception. Right. And the second bit, uh, we, we're actually in the, the... Because the second part of the play is set in a car park mm-hmm. of the hotel. We're actually in the Palm Court Hotel residence car park. Is that the like little multi-storey thing, or is it the outside? Bit? It's it's No, it's, it's, it's multi-storey, but it's the bit down from the bit that the public go. Don't worry, there will be people in... Um, High vis jackets to okay. guide, guide the uh, the eager public down down to the uh, location, okay. um, and that's on the nineteenth. But on the twentieth is the last part, the denouement mm-hmm. of the play happens in the gardens outside the town hall, uh, where you find out how it's all going to turn out. <laughs> so so it's Saturday. Uh, like lunchtime ish Saturday. Saturday, one o'clock at the Stephen Joseph, yeah, and then three o'clock at um, the Palm Court. And then you have to wait a whole 24 hours, well, 22, uh, because it's 1 o'clock the following day at the gardens where you, yeah, we're going to meet. Hopefully the weather's going to be lovely. But oh, even nice. if it's not, you know, we've been practising. We're like athletes in training. We've yeah. been practising in all weathers so that we can, you know. And how many people are involved in it? It's, it's, a, it's the biggest one we've done uh, for Beach Hut. Nine, cast of nine. Wow. Um, and you have been practising this. I mean, you've been working on this... Because I've I've been watching the Facebook page and yeah. you can, there's a there's I, I'm kind of curious about obviously you do it for love everybody does it for love as yeah. you say there's no funding in it but 
there's a hell of a lot of time and effort gone goes into it. Yeah. I mean, it's it's, it's um, but I guess that's it. You do it for love, or, or I mean, is is there a, a a a thought that perhaps you know it might turn into a, a classic and go to Broadway and that kind there's, of thing? Well, or, you know, there's is, always is that, that hope. The, uh, there's always that, that, yeah. I mean, that, of course, the, if you do something the, original. Yeah. I mean, you know, I don't know in the case of this. Personally, I think it's a great play. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's very funny. Um, I think it's funny because it is so true to life, mm. you know. Um, and yeah, there is always that hope. But yeah, we do it because we love it, and we do it more, more so. I mean, Ali has written written the play, for, for and for me, because my role is kind of production manager and, and um, yeah, doing the music and the musical director, if you like. Um, but it's about doing plays that we would like to see. Right. So we write what we would like to see, okay. um, and what we think, you know, what we hope that people would like to see, um, you know, plays that are actually relevant to to people in Scarborough. You know, that's a really important part of mm. what we do. Um, you know, it's it's plays about them uh, historically. All the stuff we've done. I mean, the first play we did, um, Life's a Beach, which was set in a, in a guest house in Scarborough, uh, and then we did Pull for the Shore, uh, which was a play set in Scarborough. Um, kind of ghost story um, about, you know, a uh, lifeboat accident. Um, you know, it's stuff that we, we hope mm. is relevant to people, and certainly everyone everywhere get, gets to experience weddings, but this is a very particular Scarborough wedding, right. um, you know. Okay. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it, it does have a universal uh, did, quality to it. I did it, see well. Life to the Beach, and that was mm. excellent. It was really good. Well, thank you. Cool. Mm. So, uh, in terms of kind of practically... And just just your role in the whole thing. You're playing music throughout. Are you doing it live or are you doing it? Uh, it's going to be live. Is it kind I'm of recording. Tr- yeah, or? for me, a lot of the time, my my professional career in in theatre, a lot of the stuff, just partly because of time constraints um, and because you've been moving on to the next project. A lot of what I've done has been recorded. So the stuff for Beach Hut, more and more now, um, I'm I'm trying to make everything live. So the, for the for the coastal performances, um, partly co- for practical ex- reason that we've got to move very quickly between lo- venues, between locations, mm-hmm. I'll be playing um, guitar. Cool. Which is you know something that people don't see very often. Um, so I've been practicing, um, <laughs> and that's, so I'm writing one score for guitar um, for for the coastal one. But then we're presenting it at the library as a more conventional play. Okay. In a in a conventional setting, we've got fanta- I've got to give another plug here, but this is this is this is a really good plug. Um, Maddie Venus, who's a student at Yorkshire Coast College on a foundation art degree, has uh, designed a set for us. She's done um, basically three different sets for the three different locations, but right. it's it's a kind of stylized, very exciting um, set of canvases that she's done, which are mounted as part of the set, and that we're going to be doing at the library. Uh, in the concert room, which is kind of our, our spiritual home, if you like, um, where we do where we rehearse at the library, and also we like you know we do a lot of our productions at the library, mm-hmm. and that's the second, third, fourth, uh, second, third, fourth, and fifth of March, cool. two thousand and eleven. Be there. Cool. Mm. And um, these are not free. The Kosovo ones are not free. Uh, no. is, is, was it seven pounds? It's it seven pounds. Seven so pounds for, for three bits. For three bits, and then we have concessions of five pounds for students and cool. you know people who get concessions. Fabulous. Um, um, so yeah, we can probably end there, can't we? We can. Look, I'll show you. Look, look there. Look, hey, come and see that. <laughs> a little fly. You can get one of these in the street. You might see us out on the street. Fair enough.